And WNBA star Brittany Griner's drug trial starts in Russia is on recess in Russia. Rather, the case is moving forward despite her guilty plea. Now, today, the defense presented evidence that Griner had a prescription to use cannabis in the U.S. for chronic pain. She faces 10 years in prison if convicted. And for more on this, we're joined by William E. Butler. William is the John Edward Fowler Distinguished Professor of Law at Penn State Dickerson Law. He's also author of Russian Law and Legal Institutions. Uh, so, Professor Butler, you're clearly the person we need to be talking to about this. Um, Griner's defense submitted evidence today that she was prescribed medical cannabis by U.S. doctors for chronic pain. Do you expect, I mean, thinking of the way Russian courts work, do you expect that this evidence and this defense uh, can influence the outcome of the trial there in Russia? I think this will help her case for leniency very considerably. It's not a free kid get out card, however. The Russian criminal code makes no exception for medical marijuana. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah. And based on your knowledge of the Russian legal system, I know you can't really predict courts, but do you have any idea on how this might end for Brittany Griner? Well, ideally, it would end with a non-custodial sentence. She's acknowledged guilt in this case. There are no pleas in Russian criminal law, and she couldn't have acknowledged guilt or not, as the case may be. During the first time in the trial, she chose to remain silent. But after the prosecution presented its case, she chose to acknowledge guilt. That had no procedural consequences for her. And so the defense is now coming forward with its evidence of medical marijuana. I think that will help her in her plea for leniency, and hopefully it will allow her to continue to play basketball. And so now this will move into the sentencing stage then, I guess, after it's confirmed that she pled guilty and that she has this defense as to why she did what she did. Uh, what sort of sentence would a crime like this in Russia impose? Well, if there were no leniency, the minimum sentence would be five years. It's five to ten under the article of the code under which he's charged. But the judge has discretion to go under that minimum, and it could be a fine. The maximum fine would be up to one million rubles, which is about ten to twenty thousand dollars in the United States at the moment, depending on the exchange rate. Or it could be even less than that, taking into account uh, she as an individual, the appropriate circumstances of the case, and so forth. William E. Butler breaking it down for us. Thanks so much.